Hey there everybody, I just wanted to talk about my favourite film of all time and the inspiration behind Wanderer Films. My favourite film of all time is The Wanderers from 1979 based on the original novel by Richard Price of the same name and the film directed by Phil Kaufman. The Wanderers is one of the first films I ever watched as a kid, as a toddler, from when I could first put in a VHS and a VCR and control the TV and that was very early on, you're talking like two, three years old. Although the film was, there's a lot of very adult themes in the movie with from sex, violence, horror, mature themes and obviously a lot of swearing and stuff like that but a lot of people would say oh young kids shouldn't be watching this but this this film's inspired my love of coming of age films and to want to make films and inspired my love of music with the wonderful early 60s soundtrack in the movie and it's, it's just been a it's just been a love affair between me and the wanderer since since childhood which will never go away and I just it's just it'll always be a part of my life and as it's just teen teen youth youth culture films just don't get any better than this. I think it's wonderful. Many people might think it's flawed. People might just not seen it at the right time. But I saw it at the right time. The right time was when I was three years old and I was first watching movies. And this was one of the first films I ever watched. And it's just I never failed to be inspired by it. The music, the the romantic feel to it, the the togetherness, the friendship, the the coming of age story of feelings of like, okay, it's time to move on to the next level, the, the tales of adolescence and it's just there's just so many great moments in the movie and what I won what I love about it as well is the great ensemble cast and although some of the people went on to do other things, none of them became massive massive stars some of them probably should have even bigger like the likes of Ken Wall who did make it big and what TV's wise guy and stuff like that he was big for a period in the 80s but you think what they're all doing now to be honest like obviously the likes of Karen Allen and Olympia Dukakis they did things as well but it's it's just I feel I feel like it's one of my films if you know what I mean it's one of mine and it's it's almost it's probably still considered a bit of a cult classic. I think it became huge on video on VHS, and I remember, I remember, I think we had a copy of it on tape that I was just always watching. And then in the late eighties, I came across it. And my friend of ours in Berlin had a copy of it, and I watched it and I just fell in love with it all over again. And I never had my own official copy of it, and I never really saw it on video. I remember seeing it on hire somewhere in about nineteen ninety, and I, I borrowed that. And I used to rent it all the time. I was still wanting my own copy. And eventually, I was watching one. I had one that was recorded on VHS and eventually got one. And I think it was re-released in sort of 1996 on a, a VHS. And it had on the front cover, it was um, Terror, the character Terror of the Baldies and Pee Wee in front of him. And that was the front. I'd never seen that front cover before. Yeah, so I finally had my own copy and I was so excited and I just couldn't believe I was able to watch my own copy of it once more and I had it, the physical form in my hand, the actual video. And I've always been a collector of VHS, especially like sort of special editions and first editions and all that and just cool artwork and stuff. I remember I came across online, I came across the very original um, VHS that was released and I finally I got my hands on that. Sadly, that amongst other VHSs, I got thrown away, and I I was a bit heartbroken with that. But you have to get over these things. There's only material items, but I was a bit gutted with that. But I have managed to collect other things from the Wanderers over the years. I've got a bunch of things here, and I'll, I'll show you them right now. Okay. First of all, we've got this book, the original novel by Richard Price, and it's the original first edition from, what year was it, was it 1974, 1974 this book, it's a little tatty there but adds a bit of character to it, <laughs> I mean, the, <clears throat> the original book is based on, the, mo the movie's based on the idea and there's a lot of themes and characters names taken from it but it's a different 
it's a different story altogether, really, because I find this was a lot darker and scarier and violent than the eventual movie, but it has got the same spirit has got the same spirit and it's got all the, the great musics mentioned in this as well and the, the it, it describes the period quite good as well and yeah, it's a totally different experience read like just like many books like many books to movies they're they're totally different experiences and should be treated as different experiences to be honest but I'm very I love this book I love that I've got the original novel $5.95 since in 1974 <laughs> and then also I came across a what was this with it was Esquire magazine and the book came free with it as well here's another edition of it there's been many editions over the years if I want to read it sometimes I'll go to that instead of this but that's cool and here's a, a VHS with the cool the cool artwork the original sort of movie poster on it I love this this copy, and I haven't got my old copy that I told you about that got released in 1996. I don't know where that gone, but it was a cheap ass copy anyway. But it had this on the front cover, this image here. Oh, terror in the Baldies. Oh, and there's the the scene where they're elbow titting in the street when they first come across Nick Karen Allen. And that's hilarious, and that's the scene when Terror's going to. Joey, he's like, oh, he's my favorite wanderer. You know, if I had a dog with a face like yours, I'd shave it ass and teach it to walk backwards. <laughs> and then they, they tie their dicks to the ropes, remember, and play a prank on them. And then there's the, the strip poker scene, which is a classic scene. I love that. It's beautiful. Beautiful scene. Oh, it's, just, it's just a magical film. Now this this VHS was released in 1988. This one. <clears throat> and then it was released on DVD. It was released on DVD 2002. The same sort of cover and artwork there. And it had uh, the special features on it included a feature length commentary by Phil Kaufman who's the director and co-writer. <clears throat> and then I was waiting for a special edition it still didn't have the special editions I wanted. There was I wish there was like more making of and behind the scenes, but I guess they, maybe they didn't capture any of that footage. Maybe it's long gone. But recent last year there was a Blu-ray, a German Blu-ray release of The Wanderers, very special edition, limited amount that was released, and that was this. I love that artwork on there, and it's got two two discs in there. There's one that's like the original theatrical release that I guess was. Ger released in German or European theatres, and then the other one's like the one that most people would see now. And it's all in German, but the... It's all, the, the movie's in English and stuff like that, and there's a German commentary on it. And yeah, it's beautiful. Inside, in the booklet, with stuff, it's all in German as well, but as someone who speaks quite a bit of German, I can understand Barely, I can make out most of what they're talking about, so that's pretty cool. Well, as you can see, I'm a fan of The Wanderers. I'll show you a couple more things. What have I got here? I've also got the original soundtrack on CD. I don't know where that is, but... Oh, and I've got the original LP as well. Let's see. The CD's through the room, I think, but I'll show you... Well, there's my poster, a framed poster of the movie. And here's the original films and filming magazine from May 1979 that's got um, Ken Wall there with the character Richie and Joey after they've been elbow to him. And then there's the framed LP on there. As you can see, it's, it's a very inspirational film and I had to somehow have the Wanderers in, like, I've got Wanderer films. This is yellow, but you'll notice on some of uh, my text fonts and stuff like that, that it's inspired by the colours. I'll show you on the screen here, can you see it? Yeah, Wanderer films. So it's 
I like a, a wee take on it, you know, with the yellow and the red. Anyway, I could talk all day about the Wanderers and I just wanted to give you a wee insight into one of my favourite films of all time, if not my favourite, and where Wanderer films come from. Please check out The Wanderers if you've never checked it out before. It's, it's just amazing and I'd like to make one a, a film like this my, myself one day. If not gang, some to do with youth and adolescence and grown up, coming of age. They're just my favourite type of films to be honest. Maybe I can make one from my era generation. Anyways, thanks a lot for listening and watching. Bye now.